No, no, you are asking for trouble. So you are talking about the fine line between illusion and perception. There is no fine line. It is all one big illusion. By the time you know it, life has passed by. But you don't have to worry because passing by is also an illusion. Nothing passes by. So if everything is illusion, isn't enlightenment one big illusion? In a way it is, in a way it is. That's why I've been talking not about knowing but about ignorance. I think I've been telling you in some of these programs I've been telling people, earlier we used to make our brochures like this from ordinary to extraordinary. Do this yoga and you will move from ordinary to extraordinary. People thought they are going to become very special. When they came in, after they enrolled, paid their money. Before that we never said. After all that happened, then we told them, this is about becoming more ordinary than others, extraordinary. <laughs> this is not about becoming special. <laughs> the enlightened club, the club of the enlightened ones is a place where There is no such thing as illusion and perception, where everything is illusion. I have twenty-four fingers, can you see? Why? Can you see or no? No? What can I do? That's ignorance, lack of perception. <laughs> this is lack of perception. <laughs> You don't see my twenty-four fingers, you missed it. Now, you tell me, is uh, number ten a less of an illusion than number one? Hmm? Is it? Is hundred a more of a reality than number one? Is it so? Everything is made up, isn't it so? The only reality is zero, rest is all made up. It's not incidental that zero is discovered in India. Because this is the only place where people spend maximum amount, maximum amount of time, eyes closed. If you sit, eyes closed. Initially fantasies will go on, chattering will go on, gods will come, devils will come. If you simply sit, 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 then you will see you are one big vacuum. You are just one big zero. This is the only culture where maximum number of people spent a huge amount of time with their eyes closed. So, if you perceive that you are an empty shell, would you call that perception? Or would you call that a realization of what an illusion you are? What would you call it? It's up to you what you call it. But there is no fine line, that's the whole problem. 
or that's the beauty of it. There is no fine line, there are no lines to cross. It's just fine the way it is. But the problem is, you are in a certain state of compulsiveness that you have to move somewhere. This compulsiveness has essentially come as a consequence of the huge accumulation that you have made within yourself. This accumulation has happened because you have the illusion that you are perceiving something. Because you believe that you are perceiving, some, perceiving something, the accumulation has happened. If you realize experientially, not intellectually, experientially if you realize that you are actually not perceiving anything, you actually are not. Tell me, after all these years of being with me, what have you perceived? Because whatever you perceive, and you're feeling wonderful, two days later I come back and demolish it anyway. Whatever you think we have atti attained, I come back and trample it anyway. So what have you perceived in these many years? Slowly you are beginning to make yourself comfortable in your ignorance, that's good. Because that's the only place you can be. And that's not some kind of damnation. That is the beauty and the mystery of life. If you become, a, you become a total illusion. You are right now, but you don't know, you think you are something. Why? In so many ways we told this to you, in the Isha Yoga itself, we told you you are nothing, but you said, I am a cobbler. I said, okay. Didn't we tell you you are nothing? In the introduction itself I told you that you are actually nothing, but then you said, no, I am a doctor, I am an engineer, I am this. I said, all right, let's play the game for some time. When we say you are a nothing, does it mean, can nothing be perceived or is it an illusion? Nothingness means non-existence. That means you are an illusion yourself. You are a make-believe happening. But when you say the illusion looks real, only illusion looks real. What else can? If you go to a cinema, don't you see people on the cinema screen, though they are only two-dimensional, all the great heroes that you have seen and you may have joined the fan club, whether you are uh, Rajinikanth club or Robert Redford club or whatever, all that you saw of them was just flat on the screen. They were not even three-dimensional, isn't it? Just a little bit of light playing, if you… if you raised your hand a little bit, your hand would be there instead of his face. Isn't it so? Did you ever try that? Did you interrupt? You must do these things. <laughs> If you raised his ha your hand, the great hero's face would be gone and your hand would be there, isn't it? That's how fragile he was. But didn't he look larger than life? Don't you worship him today more than all the people around you who are flesh and blood? You only saw light and sound. Hasn't it become more real than the real? Isn't a cinema theater, what happens in the cinema much more real than the reality of life? So illusion is always exaggerated. So it always definitely looks more real than the real. <laughs>